hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist for the palace of uni of ife my people we are still on Kwenomi trip to singapore my people from what we gathered uh, for the information we gathered this singapore trip this conference that Kwenomi attended in singapore you know uh, it is supposed to be African women stuff. You know, a lot of people attended it. From what we heard, they said about 18 uh, women from Nigeria went there. And it looks as if there is a Reverend Fuke that is the head, you know. And it was this uh, Reverend Fuke that appointed uh, Queen Naomi to go and represent from her their own district, you know. And uh, Reverend Afuke was also in, in attendance, so uh, I don't, I'm sure you saw the videos and everything. So they said all of them did well, they all did wonderfully well. But uh, Quenomi's own was so special, as in it was, will I say, extraordinary. As in, they said she impacted a lot of people, and the thing is that she could, she can stand like hours speaking, as in. And when I said that she could know me is highly blessed, just believe me, believe me, because she is, she is, irrespective of what is going on in her marriage. And someone's marriage will not define that person. The family that someone is coming out from will not define that person. It is only God who will define who someone is. And here God has proven to people that uh, uh, Kwenomi is a special being. They said she did wonderfully well. She impacted life. She impacted. She made a lot of impact to these people. To the point, they say, an official from this uh, woodland uh, district of Singapore came. That the person wasn't uh, really uh, interested in the whole program, but someone invited her. And she's a, a dignitary, an official, a government official. So they said she attended that, uh, and it happens that it is when Queen Naomi was ministering. They said she stood, she stayed there, oh, even after everything, she came back again. They said the program, the conference wasn't just once, it, it was many times. And on each occasion, Queen Naomi was given opportunity to talk, to speak to people, and they said she did wonderfully well. And recall that... Uh, there's another district called Mandai. They said the women in the, the uh, women from that particular the, uh, district, that they were planning this two days, uh, not two days, uh, December, January conference, where they do a lot of uh, uh, teachings, you know, uh, development skill acquisition, and so many things. They said they went and begged their mayor, as in their, their head, to please, go and contact Queen Naomi, that they want her to be there, you know, and whatever that it is going to take, that they are ready to make it available, because she is wonderfully blessing them already, and they need more of that blessing. And this particular official that attended in Woodland, they said that one said, no, that she, she hardly see a Nigerian who can do so wonderfully like this Queen Naomi, that a street in that district must be named after Queen Naomi Ogunse. Hey, hey, you can imagine that. That is when I said that grace, the grace of God is too much. Her grace, eh? her grace is not, not get met with any other person's own. Seriously. You see, Queen Naomi, she is graciously met. You know? So this, the woman said she is going, they are going to name a street in Woodland after Queen Naomi Ogunse. That very sweet, will not take long. Yeah, people will see it. They say she took a lot of pictures. That if you go there, you see big boards carrying Quenomi's name, Quenomi's. Hey! They said the kind of love that people showed her. It be, let me tell you, those people that went on that program with her, eh, if they are the people who doesn't understand that eh, it is God who is doing things, it's not as if that is how Quenomi wanted it, you know, they would start getting jealous. Because they said the kind of treatment that she started receiving, Met a lot of people to be happy for her while others are jealous of her because it looks it get as it be now. Let's not forget that uh, Reverend Fuke also attended this program. 
But Reverend Fuke is Queen Naomi's mother. She is her godmother. For the interest of those who may not know. And they said she was so proud of Queen Naomi that she never regretted ever picking her for this program. That she was so super happy. Hey, if you will, if you watch when they were taking pictures, you find out that she is really happy. Even when Queen Naomi was trying to dodge that uh, picture, uh, taking pictures, she called her on her to come and take pictures with them. You know, that is to tell you how happy she is because they said she did wonderfully well. And the king in the other side. Is there rejoicing, celebrating, thanking God for giving him such a, a wonderful woman. Even though the enemies are fighting him. They are fighting to see that they did not stay together. But I know that God will not allow that to happen. Let me tell you, God will not shame Queen Naomi in this battle of a uh, marriage battle with all, all these anti-Moloris. God is going to do what makes him God. And he will do it in a way that these people will confess with their mouth that Queen Naomi is a gracious child. Because God will make it do it in a way that eh, all, all they, they plan, they will come out and be talking and be telling Queen Naomi, look at what we have done to get you and they did not get you. Because come to think of it, all they are doing is not working because we do know that they are doing some dubious things against Queen Naomi. But none of that is working. Queen Naomi is going out, making impact, impacting people's life. Anywhere she goes, she will make a difference. Recall when she went to Krista International uh, this thing in Abuja. Other women, they also invited her for another program. Because she did wonderfully well. That is her style. That is God's grace upon her. Wherever she, wherever she go, there will be light. She will light up everywhere. And that is why I keep saying that darkness and light cannot coexist. That the moment when Naomi returns back to the palace, all the darknesses will disappear. Darkness will disappear. And that is, let me tell you, just that Queen Naomi, I don't know what, maybe God have not told her that Luko. Because I believe the moment she stepped into that palace, you see all these anti moloris they will rush to go and get the house outside because the two of them cannot coexist in that palace. Because I don't know, I'm not saying that anyone is darkness or anyone is light, but all I can tell you here is that darkness and light cannot coexist the moment light enters darkness would automatically disappear so and when Naomi is light yes she is light and that is why the king is trying everything possible not to let go of her and my prayer is that uh, god will re reunite them and she will be soaring higher and higher and higher so very soon we are going to hear the letters, which is uh, a street in Woodland named after Queen Naomi Ogunse. So my people, oh, so we hear them, okay? Don't forget that they are all alleged information because I wasn't there. Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are not a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Give this video a thumbs up and share it. My God will bless you. Bye for now. Love you guys.